Hi, my name's Nick from Nick Church Photography and I've just received this, which is the Rode Wireless Go Dual Wireless Microphone System. Now I'm really excited about getting hold of that and I can't wait to get it out and put it through its paces. But before I do that, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk a bit about audio. Here at Nick Church Photography, we have two main uses for audio. Firstly, there's the YouTube channel. So there's this playlist, which is the studio, so it's technical stuff. Also, there's a series of interviews with wedding suppliers called Top Table. So that's one area. The other thing, of course, is wedding films. So my audio setup for weddings is pretty straightforward. I use two or three of these devices. This is the Sony TX650 recorder. Now these just clip onto a shirt pocket or a jacket pocket or lapel and they record really fantastic audio for the size is just incredible. Now these battery life lasts forever. This is what I've got on my shirt right now. So this is what you're listening to. I'll at some point replace that with the Rode Wireless Go microphone and I'll leave the EQ the same so you'll be able to compare the difference. So on a wedding day, it's great because you just bring these back with the, with the footage from the camera, put them into Final Cut Pro, and this is going to be the professional audio solution for that. It doesn't work quite so well for my YouTube interviews, however. Now, the reason for that is that I always think if you've got full control of a, a scenario like an interview, then I don't really like to have too much recording equipment on show, just a bit fussy about it. There's no real reason other than that. The other thing is that even though they're fine on a jacket pocket, so people at weddings tend to have suit jackets that are quite sturdy, these tend to drag down a t-shirt or something like that. So if someone, if I'm interviewing someone for this, the Top Table channel that's got a, a um, blouse or a t-shirt, then it's gonna drag that a little bit and it just looks a bit unsightly. So um, I tend not to use those clipped on. I sometimes have used them on the table. So maybe either have one in the middle of the table. The trouble is then is that they work best when they're much closer. So down there, they're gonna pick up a bit of echo around the room. And also you've got the two voices coming in from the side and the, the pickup pattern is gonna be more aimed at the front. Sorry, the front there from those two things there. So. I've tried using two aimed at that, and that's a little bit better. The problem you have then is you get crosstalk between the two. So when you're mixing everything down, and when, when I'm in the production, I have to cut between audio sources, depending who's talking, to avoid that crosstalk, and that's a real pain as well. Um, so yeah, that's not, that's not great. So to get around those problems, I tend to use an overhead mic. So this is my AKG C1000S. So this is just a condenser mic. Now the trick to this is it's got lovely audio quality. It's a bit of a faff, so it's not very portable because it's got an XLR interface because it's a professional audio mic. So there's a big um, audio interface that I need to plug into to get that working. Now the trick with this is just to keep it out of shot because um, it's quite heavy, so it, it, it does tend to want to drop down into shot, which is really frustrating. But to keep it out of shot, then it means it's a little bit far away from the interviewee and myself. So again, because it's not really close to us, you do pick up a lot of bounce from around the room. And you can remove that a little bit in Final Cut Pro, but you can still hear it's there. So even before um, needing the wireless system, I was looking for something better for YouTube. And then came along a third use case, which is during the restricted weddings due to COVID, that a few couples are asking for live streams. Now live streams during a ceremony, these are no good at all for that because these are just recording, so you can't stream to a laptop, so there's no way to get the audio in real time to a laptop. This setup is no good because it just it's an XLR interface, so it needs to go from here, big long cable to my audio interface, into my laptop. This needs to be on a boom. That's far too much, far too intrusive for something like a small wedding or a church. The only option you really have are either something like this, which is a directional microphone, which sits on top of your camera. Um, the cat's got this. The problem with this is, this is gonna be no good at the back of a church. It's just gonna just pick up echoey nonsense. So that led me to a wireless solution, which is how I came across the Rode Wireless Go 2. This is a wireless clip-on transmitter and receiver system. This is the second generation of the product, and that's really important because this importantly has two transmitters and one receiver. So that means it was suitable for my YouTube channel, The Top Table, so I could interview guests and we could both have a uh, transmitter doing things wirelessly. The other thing that was really important with this version of the product is that it's got internal recording on the actual device. So it can do the similar job to this and actually record audio in super high quality inside as well as transmit the audio. So what we've got inside, we've got 
a case always um big respect to provide a nice soft case all the cables and stuff so let's look at the devices themselves so these things are called uh dead cats so these just clip onto the microphone so that's the receiver the dead cats incidentally is what you get if you get hold of licorice after you find that he's attacked your road on camera mic so that's um convenient right so the, yeah these the, so the two transmitters you have got not much not much functionality on here it, it really is a plug and play setup so you turn them on it has an internal microphone built into it and that's where these things just clip on somehow let's have a look so these clip onto here um yeah so they clip on like that so that's that clipped on so that's going to protect against wind noise or anything outdoors going to be useful to have that uh, let's take that off so we can see what we're doing so there's an internal microphone which is a really good quality mic which means just a very quick just to clip onto someone's lapel and start transmitting audio straight away or recording it internally the other thing you can do though is plug in a lav mic so you could put a, a super high quality mic and you're going to get broadcast quality audio with that way um, of setting things up so the receiver is going to just pick up both streams from here now there's a couple let's turn them on so we they should all be paired so let's just turn those both on so that's things booting up there let's turn on this other one as well there we go so we can see already we've got one booting up and we're, we're seeing the uh the the signal from that one oh we're in dual mode there i think we do that there we go so that's both of them now what i did there the way you can set these up which i think is a really neat feature is you can either have both of them coming in one on the left channel one on the right channel which is what the current setup is now that means that this the receiver can be popped onto your camera so that's like a cold shoe mount on your camera and there's one that red cable in here will just connect from this into your camera and that's going to replace your camera audio so on the actual footage you're recording so like for example on the footage i'm recording now the audio would be recorded using this now this would mean that one channel goes onto the left and the other receiver goes onto the right channel that means you can process the audio separately and differently in your production suite so you might want to boost the gain on one or change the eq for example the other thing you can do which was how we got it out of the box is have it in mono mode like that and what that's doing is that's combining it in here into a single stream now that's really important if you are doing a live stream because you don't want two separate um, things you want it just coming down into the same thing so that when you plug it into youtube it's going to just stream a combined uh, stream of those two audios now the way you connect this is uh, we've talked about the 3.5 mil jack which is going to plug into your camera or onto an external recorder the other great thing that i needed is a usb-c which connects to my laptop and that will then just present an audio interface to my mac and so in something like youtube live i can just select this as the, the audio source and it's going to then very quickly stream those so you can see how quick it's going to be to set up pop one of these on uh, the groom's jacket that plugged into my laptop camera plugged into the laptop as well and that's going to be the audio because the the problem with a live stream which i had before this was the only way really to get audio from the bride and groom is to use something like a directional mic now this is just no good at the back of a church so it's fine if you're within a few meters but back of the church you're just going to get an echoey mess so this is just going to be allow for some really crisp audio to come from them and actually make get guests that are logging in remotely feel like they're part of the things because the audio is the most important thing for something like this if you can't hear then the engagement's really low so this is going to be excellent so as, as i said before i'm talking now on the sony mic so i'm still recording on one of these right now what i'm going to do now is just move this over to the laptop i'm going to start recording on one of these and then we'll see what the difference is I've got the Rode Wireless Go 2 receiver now connected to my iMac, so I'm just going to go and check that that's been picked up. There is an application that Rode do which allows you to get to even more functionality on the device for the more of the advanced settings, but I don't need that right now. So I can see that that's been picked up there as an audio interface, which is great. I'm also just going to go to Audacity because that's my go-to recording platform. So let's just go to select that there. And I'm going to start recording, so I know that. 
I'm gonna start recording now and I'm gonna clip on the mic and let's see how we get on. So I'm gonna turn off this one. Okay, so that is now recording using the Rode Wireless 2. So I've now got the wireless go to transmitter on my t-shirt. So that's what is being received now. And that's what you're listening to right now. So this is the receiver. I think it's a really decent little bit of kit actually. There's, this is showing the gain control. So it's at zero dB. So you can adjust the gain from the actual receiver side. The other thing I didn't mention before is that I did mention that you connect up to your camera, but this clip doubles up as a into your hot shoe of your flash so or cold shoe. So that just goes straight into your top of your camera, sits like that. So that's a pretty neat thing. Now, what I like about this system is I've never set up this system before. So I've just got it out now, as you saw, and just plugged it all together. I've also never used a wireless mic system before and it just worked. It was prepared. You turn it on and it's working straight away. As we can see here, this is also recording. So while it's also being transmitted to this receiver, it shows that it's recording in the transmitter as well. And that's what we're gonna be using. So just to do some comparison, this is the Wireless Go 2. I'm now gonna to switch to the Sony mic. So now this is the Sony mic for comparison. So I've got both of them clipped on. So this is the Sony microphone, the one that I've been using at weddings and sometimes on my YouTube interview channel top table. And now I'm going to go back to the Rode. So this is now back to the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone. And we'll be able to compare. I'll use the same EQ on both of these. So what you're listening to is the same EQ. I may have boosted one or the other just to get the gains similar. But other than that, it's exactly the same. So this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. And this is now back to the Sony. So this is the Sony microphone. And this is the Rode Wireless 2 microphone. So hopefully that's been really useful. The great thing about this is that for my YouTube interviews, I will now be able to have this clipped on to the interviewee's pocket and my pocket. And I've ordered a couple of small little lapel mics. So that's gonna be a, a much neater solution. You can't see, but the other transmitter that's connected to my t-shirt is pulling my t-shirt down quite a lot so that that kind of proves and, and it's that's the problem that doesn't really get solved with this is it's still a fair bit of weight for a very thin piece of material um plus the the weight seems to be in the wrong end really so it kind of tends to flip forward but if you're doing that kind of interview which i'll be doing anyway shortly then we'll just use a lav mic and have a tiny little um lapel mic clipped on and this will be out of view and the sorry the, the, the transmitter this will be out of view and this will be on top of the camera well out of the way all right so um that's the road wireless go to i hope that's been useful and i'm really excited to use these i love the way that they've just turned on connected together and worked straight away that kind of thing for me is really valuable because when you're at a wedding, especially something like a live stream, the minimum amount of faff you can get away with the better. And this seems like it's gonna be a really excellent solution for that. So really pleased about that. Look forward to using these. And I'll post on the channel some snippets from the live stream that we do, um, and you'll see them in, in action. Okay, thanks very much everyone. And please do subscribe to the channel if you find this sort of stuff useful. I've not done this sort of video before, so I'll do more of these if you find them useful. Also got loads of guests starting to book in again for Top Table. That Those have been postponed a bit because of lockdown in the UK, but that those wedding suppliers are now coming back in. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into seeing what those wedding suppliers are all about, what makes them passionate for what they do. And that's a really useful thing. So this stuff for the studio, do subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and that's it. Okay, so I've now got one of the wireless transmitters attached to my T-shirt. Um, so th what you're hearing now is the other one of these, the Rode Wireless Go 2. So previously for the rest of this session, we had the Sony mic. This is now the Rode mic. What I'm gonna do now, I've, I've got the Sony mic still on my shirt, so I'm gonna just switch to that one. So this is the Rode Wireless 2. Now I'm switching to the Sony. So what you're listening to now is the Sony mic. Okay, so that's the Sony mic. And now I'm gonna just go back to the Rode. So this is now the Rode Wireless 2 mic back on again. 
I've used the same EQ and the same settings in the audio channels for the production. So all I'll, have, all I'll probably do is just equal the volumes so that the gains are similar. So I'm really chuffed with this. So what I didn't mention before, that this, this will be on um, someone's lapel. This side, we've mentioned before about the 3.5 mil connector to plug into your camera. This actually, this clip is actually, will go into a hot shoe or a cold shoe on a flash, so on a camera. So I'd just be able to put that on top of the camera and that's recording straight into the camera, the, the video stream on the camera. So it's a really nice system. We can see here, hopefully you can see that, we've got zero dB so you can change the gain on here. It's showing battery level and also showing that it's recording. So what I'm not actually gonna be streaming, so this isn't connected to the computer, obviously you can see, but it is gonna be recording on the transmitter so I'll be using the audio channel inside there. All right, so again, this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. And now I'm just gonna switch back to the Sony TX650 so you can compare the two. So that's the Sony TX650. And now back to the Rode Wireless 2 Go. So I'm really pleased with this, I'm really impressed. I think I've never set up a this system before, and I've not even set up a wireless system at all before either. So this is the first time I've just plugged them all in, they work straight away, and anything that works straight away scores really highly in my view, because I know that when it's a live stream or when it's a wedding, you want stuff to just work, and, and anything that just works is gonna be great, and that's, so I'm looking forward to using these. I'll post some snippets from the live stream that we use these, so you'll see them in action. And also, they'll be used for the top table interviews I've got coming up. So a lot of people are starting to book in again. So for the top table, I won't have this on someone's t-shirt because it does pull the t-shirt down a bit, but it means this transmitter can be on their belt and I'll have a lav mic, which I've ordered a couple of lav mics. So we'll just have a tiny clipped mic um, on, on their shirt and that's all you'll see and I'll have the other one. This, this will be on top of the camera plugged in and plugged into the audio stream. I'll also be recording on the transmitters like this so there'll be a backup if I if there's any glitch in audio. And I'm really looking forward to that setup as well. I think that's gonna be a much better quality system than I've been using either with these on the table and with this overhead where it's been really boomy. All right, so do subscribe to the channel if you found this particular video useful. I've not done one like this before so if you find these useful, I'll do plenty more. So yeah, like I said, like the video, please subscribe. It's useful because it may, means other people can find this channel. And yeah, that's it. So that's the Rode Wireless Go 2. I've been jabbing on enough so you can hear the audio quality. Hopefully it's impressive. I haven't heard it yet, so I look forward to getting stuck into that. All right, guys, catch up with you next time.